ChatGPT4's latest update is something called Code Interpreter. And let me tell you, mind blown what is possible with this Code Interpreter. It's basically like having a data analyst at your fingertips and any sort of like Excel manipulation of data that you would otherwise do, this just does automatically for you. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can use this code interpreter to easily and help you manage your Google ad account. I'll walk you through exactly how to extract the data from your ad account, upload it to ChatGPT4, and you'll see all the prompts that I use and um, how you can use those prompts to get valuable information to help you manage your Google ad account. I don't see it replacing Google ad management. I see it rather than helping us ad managers make better decisions at a much quicker pace. So let's go dive into my account and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Make sure you stay through to the end of the video as well because I'm going to show you some pretty cool charts that you can do which should also help with reporting. Really the options are endless. I'm really excited. Let's go dive right in. So here we are in ChatGPT. Uh, I do have the paid account, uh, cost 20 bucks a month. Um, and to enable the latest feature, which we're gonna be talking about in this video, which is Code Interpreter, I gotta to go to my settings. I go to my account here, I click on settings and beta. Under beta features, I gotta to toggle this on to make sure that Code Interpreter is enabled. I then go to ChatGPT4 and turn on the Code Interpreter. All right, so to be clear, I'm going to extract a bunch of information from my Google ad account and upload that data set to ChatGPT to perform some data analysis. So here I am in my Google ad account. I've just gone to a specific campaign. I've got you know almost a year's worth of data. I went to the search terms and actually downloaded this data. Just so you know, this campaign was advertising a retargeting challenge that I was running, which teaches people how to do retargeting on Google and on Facebook. So my campaign was really targeting people who go to Google and type in retargeting on YouTube, retargeting with Google, Facebook retargeting, etc. That's sort of the context of what I was doing. Okay, I downloaded this data. It is also worth mentioning that I removed the first two rows of this data because it wasn't really relevant. Like the column headings only really started from row three. And at the bottom of this data, I also uh, deleted the totals because that was sort of skewing that information. Okay. So to upload this data file, we're basically just going to click on this plus icon and I'm going to find where the file is on my computer and upload it that way. So now it's uploading and the first prompt I'm going to give it is I'm going to say, could you explain this data set? Now it's going to obviously going to extract information from this CSV file and I'm going to see if it can really understand what the rows and columns are, are really all about. This all works off Python code. Fortunately, you don't need to worry about it. How good is that? So here we can see it is, um, reading all the column information. Sometimes it takes a little while. So occasionally through this video, I might just pause uh, so that you don't really need to watch it kind of think and generate this information. But it's basically read through all the different columns. And it says this data set like there's a detailed report of advertising uh, performance of different search terms, keywords and ad groups could be used for analyzing the effectiveness of various advertising strategies. Exactly. Would you like any specific analysis or details uh, about this data set? So then I can say to it, with your knowledge from this data set, can you perform data analysis? And let's see what it can spit out. Certainly we can perform various types of analysis on the data set, summary statistics, and all this kind of really cool information. Uh, what kind of specific analysis would you like me to perform? Or if you have any particular goals, in mind. So I'm going to say, um, I would like to know the top performing, oops, if I can spell keywords. Sure. To identify the top performing keywords, we need the criteria and clicks. Would you like, uh, I will say, um, based on clicks and conversions. So let's see what it can come back with, because obviously I don't want to base really a bunch of data analysis on just one click. So I, know I want it to factor in the clicks as well as the conversions. Uh, so we're not dealing with a huge amount of data. As you can see, it's only got seven clicks within this data set. Uh, keywords by conversions. Uh, let's 
sounds good. Now you can keep asking it sort of various questions about um, the data analysis. For the purpose of this video, I'm really just trying to show you what uh, some of the things that are possible with this code interpreter. So I can say, can you create a graph using this data set? And it's pretty crazy, it can actually create graphs based on uh, upload data which you upload, which is pretty amazing. So which kind of graph would I like to see? I'd like to see a bar graph. Thanks very much. Uh, so based on clicks or conversions, I'm going to say, uh, let's say clicks. And let's see which uh, keywords are going getting the most number of clicks. And then I can also ask it to create one based on conversions as well. So it's finished working and now it's going to produce a beautiful chart. And obviously you can use this in any kind of reporting that you need. Um, and yeah, so it's pretty, uh, pretty crazy what you can do. And I can say, uh, can you create maybe five visuals to represent different data. Once again, exploring what are some of the possibilities of the stuff that it can do. So I'll just pause this video while it uh, thinks. So just to show you real quick, if I scroll back up, uh, it's done a um, bar chart of the top 10 keywords by conversions distribution of match types so once again a pie chart and obviously I can ask it to change its data source based you know make, this is done on the match types but I can say you know create a pie chart of top converting keywords if I want relationship between clicks and conversions I'd say this is probably not that relevant but obviously it can also it, just showing you it can uh, create these types of um, charts which is pretty amazing so I can also ask it um, which are the best converting keywords and I can then make sure that those keywords never run out of budget would be one sort of application once it sort of calculates that information uh, so yeah it's telling me which are the best converting keywords um, I can also go try and ask it another question what are some additional keywords I should include in my campaign to improve performance. Let's see what if it can <laughs> help us expand and grow and scale our campaign. Uh, expand on top performing keywords, use keyword research tools. Okay, so it's telling me what it's not going to do. It's not going to do the work for me, um, but it's pretty amazing. Anyway, um, Test and optimize, all that relevance. So yeah, this is really just an introductory video on how you can use Code Interpreter to help with your Google ad management. And honestly, this is really limited by your imagination of the prompts that you can give it. Uh, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more awesome videos.